Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua fed now lies with the Senate or the courts after President William Ruto and ODM leader Raila Odinga yesterday whipped the members in the National Assembly to vote for the impeachment motion against the DP. The embattled second in no command, who put up a spirited fight for his job, even playing videos, clips of his boss in his defense, is now praying for a miracle to keep him in office. When I talk about shareholding, I'm not talking about Kenyans, I'm talking about this agreement that was signed by President William Ruto and almost everybody else on how power will be shared. I've never talked about sharing resources. I've been talking about power sharing for people to get what they deserve in sharing power in accordance with this agreement. Like, for example, in an agreement between UDA and C and Ford Kenya, the UDA would nominate the president and the deputy presidential candidates, which has happened. I got my share, although I have no share certificate. The president would guarantee the stature, dignity, financial and operational autonomy of those of the deputy president. It's in the agreement. The office of the deputy president will be allowed specific duties identified at Article 21 of the agreement. ANC will be allocated a position of cabinet, prime cabinet secretary to be established within 14 days. It was given to Musalia. The office of the deputy president, uh, Ford Kenya will be allocated the position of the speaker of the National Assembly, which was given to Moses Wetangula. In, uh, in accord with Article 2.1 of the power sharing agreement, ANC and Ford Kenya would have a 30% share of national government positions. So, the Honorable Musalia Mdavadi, the Honorable Wetangula and the people of Western, please don't call them Rikati Kashagwa. The agreement is here defining your share in the government. It is not me. I did not sign this document. It was signed by Musalia, Wetangula, and President William Ruto. So when I say about this share thing in terms of positions, I've never talked about resources, about development, although it is also here, is that regions bargained with the president for shares. Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula bargained for 30% of shares within the Kenya Kwanza government. Although they were also supposed to give us 70% of the vote, which they did not. <laughs> Nevertheless, since they gave a certain vote, they are still in sight. I take them to some share, one way or, or another. So it is not regarding Ashagwa who said that a government is like a company. It is the agreement of the Kenya Kwanzaa, which I'll be tabling in the National Assembly. It is not me. A total of 281 lawmakers voted in favor of the motion against 44 who wanted Mr. Gajagwa to stay and one who abstained the votes that presented a reduction by 10 from the 291 MPs who signed up support of the motion. The move of the motion against MP Mwengi Mkuse needed to marshal at least 233 MPs, equivalent to two-thirds of the House membership, to push through the impeachment motion. It followed a long day of debate that saw the second in command take to the stand to defend himself against 11 charges that had been quailed against him. Now, D.P. Gachagua's fate will be in the hands of the Senate. The trial house, which is the next battlefront of the vicious fight that optimizes the fallout between the Mr. Kachagwa and his boss, President William Ruto. Deputy President Gandhi Kachagwa has made a secret Kenya Kwanzaa agreement public as part of his defense against the accession of tribalism. The DP said his shareholding statement had been taken out of context, noting that it was based on agreement signed by Kenya Kwanzaa principles ahead of the August 9, 2022 general elections. Kibwe's West Member of Parliament, Mwengi Mtukuse, had tabled an impeachment motion against Mr. Kachagwa. The lawmakers enlist the DP's conduct and utterances as some of the grounds for his removal from office. Mr. 
do they say that Mr. Chagua's public utterance statements are discriminatory? I him to say urge that the deputy president's remarks are insightful and undermines national unity and coexistence. However, the deep on Monday evening said President William Ruto and other Kenya Kwanza partners, Prime Cabinet Secretary Salim Davadi, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, and Senate Speaker Amazon King were the initiators of the shareholder scheme in government. Could this why regard the child with the DP was cornered? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kenya Kwanza agreement on shareholding in an agreement between UDA and C and Ford Kenya. The UDA would nominate the president and the deputy presidential candidates. I got my share. ANC will be allocated a position of cabinet, prime cabinet secretary to be established within 14 days. It was given to Musalia. Ford Kenya will be allocated the position of the speaker of the National Assembly, which was given to Moses Wetangula. ANC and Ford Kenya would have a 30% share of national government positions to be shared equally between the ANC and Ford Kenya. <laughs> Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula, they went ahead and said, Article 22 of sharing agreement set out a list of priority projects which Kenya Kwanza would endeavor to fulfill in the ANC and Ford Kenya strongholds of Western Kenya between 2022 to 2027 on a priority basis. Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula signed a package for Western Kenya. Power sharing agreement between Kenya Kwanza and PA of Amazon Kingi. PA would be allocated the position of the Speaker of the Senate. He negotiated for himself. I did not sign this agreement. I will read the people who signed. What crime has Regadi Gashawa permitted to be impeached by saying what President William Ruto appended his signature to? with Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula who will preside over my impeachment. Mr. Kachagwa said Mr. Mudavadi, ANC and Mr. Wetangula for Kenya negotiated their positions in the kenya Kwanza Alliance agreements in return for 70% votes for D Dr. William Ruto in Western Region during the polls. ANC will be allocated the position of Prime CS and Ford Kenya the position of the Speaker of the National Assembly. ANC and Ford Kenya will have third percent share of government positions. He said the positions included cabinet and principal secretaries, ambassadors and chairpersons of state corporations and others were directors of the state corporations and the chairpersons and commissions of constitutional. The shareholder marks is one of the reasons why MPs want Mr. Kachago to be shown the door in a hundred page impeachment motion tabled by Mr. Mtuse on October 1st. The DB is accused of splitting the country along ethnic lines. He is also accused of undermining the presidency, violating his oath of office and contradicting the National Cohesion and International Act, Integration Act. The founding parties of Kenya Kwanza are Dr. William Ruto's United Democratic Alliance, ANC, and Ford Kenya, the National the Alliance, has 11 other parties. The Kajawa said the agreement of the Alliance stated that the parties would share leadership of parliamentary committees. Majority leader Kimani Chung had made his passionate case as to why the DP had to go highlighting alleged corruption and laying to MPs in his statement, aware that Kachagwa's impeachment was a motive in their Mount Kenya backyard. Ichung was argued it was the best decision to save the region and Kenya. Speaker, having listened to Honorable Mutuse and all the grounds, and having looked at the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, and I would beg for us to look at Article 150 on the removal of a deputy president, the reasons as to why you may remove a deputy president from office. The first one is on the ground of physical or mental incapacity to perform the function of that office. We have no capacity to determine the physical and mental capacity of the deputy president, Rigavi Gashagua. But on impeachment as a second ground, the first ground is on the ground of gro a gross violation of a provision of this constitution or any other law. The question that begs is whether one Rigadi Joffrey Gashagua has contravened 
or has grossly violated one provision of the, our constitution. And I think the Honorable Ekomas Mutuse was able to demonstrate this morning that Rigathi Gashagua has violated not one, but over eight provisions of our constitution, which I agree with the Honorable Mutuse. And for that reason, Rigathi Gashagua ought and must be impeached today.